The story starts before I went to Saudi Arabia to set up the office. It started with Ted Happel doing a competition for the Intercontinental Hotel in Riyadh uh, in the late 1960s. He'd won the, that competition with a German architect called uh, Rolf Gutbrod. Uh, and the same contacts, the same fr uh, Rolf Gutbrod and Fry Otto, another very good friend of Ted Happel's, had been invited to a competition for Kokomas. That was in 1975. Uh, that project was won, and Bureau Happel were founded actually with that project in 1976. I joined in 1978, and the project that I went to work on was the Kasathwaik or Diplomatic Club. And I went to site in initially for that project in 1983, and that project provided the opportunity for us to actually to commence our office, hence the 40 years. So tremendous opportunity to work on that project and tremendous opportunity to, in a way, do something we hadn't done before, which was actually set up a permanent office in the country. Nobody had the international expertise that was required for some of the complex projects which they wanted to deliver. So that was very much sort of in my thinking when I, uh, you know, set up the office in Riyadh. How can we do that and what can we do that actually cannot be done locally? I think there's two things that are really interesting. One is you have to be able to provide great expertise, international expertise, but it's got to be delivered in a culturally sensitive way. I think you don't bring to Saudi Arabia, you know, cultural arrogance. You bring your modesty in what you do, but, but yes, you provide great experience. I think the most satisfying thing for me was actually in the late 1980s, when we were at that time delivering Qasr al or the, the, the downtown regeneration project in Riyadh, uh, was that I had a team of about 40 people and 70% of them were young Saudis seconded to us by the client's organization. And the client valued that very much. So we were actually helping to train the next generation. So it wasn't only about delivering a project, but it was about leaving a legacy in terms of uh, those, uh, training those individuals or helping to mentor them and develop them. And just as I built on the foundations laid by Ted Happold, um, and the next generations uh, have built on the foundations that were built by me. What I'm seeing going forward is that the, a combination of you know, really bright, uh, you know, intelligent Saudis working with us, and they will be helping to deliver the next future for Bureau Hapold in the kingdom. <laughs>